Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully well. We have our valued viewer request here from Ryan Shaw, and I quite like this one. Hi Cap, I recently watched an interview with a buccaneer pilot, if you don't know what a buccaneer is, go and find out, it's awesome, who had competed at the Red Flag competition in the 1970s. The buccaneers would fly in scraping the deck at 10 feet, that's not an exaggeration if you know anything about buccaneer pilots. They had to climb the 20 feet to avoid leaving dust trails in the desert. The cap defending the target airfield would be unable to get a missile kill because it would hit the ground before it hits us. And a gun kill was impractical due to the low level. Normally, the cap would wait until the attacker had to cross a ridge, highlighting themselves against the sky and giving the cap uh, a chance to shoot them down. However, the buccaneers would roll over inverted and follow the terrain without giving the cap a suitable target. The Buccaneer is an excellent aircraft for low level attacks. True. My request is can you use a similar aircraft, DCS, I wonder what we'd use, to reenact this low level approach while not giving someone flying cap a suitable target? Thank you. Uh, let's go and have a look. Exercise area at about five, ten thousand feet, I don't know what it was, in battle formation. And then we'll descend into the, into the tactical area and we'll descend low level, say that to about 100 feet initially. And as we came towards, the, we were flying over the desert, flat desert, as we came to the, the, the cap area where you've got a combat air patrol in front of you, we descend down to about 10 feet, something like that, about five, 550 knots. Uh, but we found that, you know, that uh, at that height, we were actually leaving dust trails a bit, so we just climbed up a bit to 20 feet, something like that, to, to, so we didn't leave any dust trails. So we'd we, we, we see the cap, we'd see the airplanes, and, and you couldn't, at 20 feet, they couldn't touch you really, you couldn't get a gun to kill with a lead on, the, on a gun. And a missile, even as far as you would probably hit the ground before it hit you anyway. So they, they couldn't get a kill at any time, the, the fighters on, on the Buccaneers. So, as I said to you, the navigators in the back, of course, they were monitoring all this. We were going high speed, 540 knots, and they were running the timeline. They're keeping an eye on the, the time on the target. We had a time on target, we had to make the time on target. And when we got the target, we had to have spacing on the target. You had 30 seconds spacing, say, on toss the weapon then you'd have somebody coming through and you'd lay down 30 seconds later so the time was was crucial really for the attacks so anyway we, we, we would uh, progress along the desert and then we came up towards the hills there and the the fighters would expect us to, to if that was the hill there would to, to climb up and push over the top like that and the, the fighter would come down behind and try and get a sky shot you were actually skylining it they would try and get a sky shot like that but the bucket didn't bucket didn't do that the bucket would come up to a hill as that it was a hill, instead of skying out that, the buccaneer would just come up the hill and go over the top, about 50 feet over the hill, and pull down the valley there. So, pulling about 4 or 5 g over the top, down in, in, into the valley. And this is where the navigators, again, they were superb, you know, keeping pace of what was going on, because the, the kit in the back wasn't wonderful. The nav kit, uh, as I mentioned before, it was designed, uh, you know, for the Navy, really. So, uh, they were key, the lead navigator would be keeping an eye on what was going on the whole time. All the other navigators were aware of what was going on. If you got severely delayed or or whatever, you could always retime it by saying time so and so, and everybody else would take the time from okay. that. Let's stop it there, RC. What an awesome interview! I want to listen to that whole thing. Please go to Air Crew Interview to go and subscribe to them, and all credit to them. Okay, RC. Let's go and try and be skilled pilots. Oh, I couldn't say that without laughing. Stand by. There is RC in his <coughs> buccaneer. Here is Supercap in my <coughs> buccaneer. We figured performance-wise. Well, we don't think we're going to be too different. We've got a target 20 odd miles away. It is, it is a uh, nuclear power plant, whatever you want it to be. We've got to get to it and bomb it, or at least get to it. We're not really interested in bombing today. It's all about the idea of can you go low enough that the baddie can't shoot you? The baddies are F 14B simulating F 14As with four times, what is it, AIM 7 Foxtrots for the 1970s. That's the nearest we can get. And guns. They're set to high skill or whatever the modern veteran or something, whatever the equivalent of it is. So they've got no excuse. They should be able to track us and shoot us down. RC, you'll be leading. God help us. Are you okay. ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. God help us, RC. God help us. Oh, sweet. We're going to have Betty warning us all day. Right. So I've just got to set my gear up before they attack us real quick. Okay, weapons are set up. Master arm is on. Spike, get down, get down, get down. Watch RC get shot because he refuses to fly low. I wish I could shut that shot. You can turn it down if that cake. I'm not going to worry about that. Right, got to get the trim just right, RC. Just right. Do we have a rad out in here? Because I'd love to know how high I actually am before I crash. Uh, 
Yeah, but I, I can't do load up oh. anything. Hold on. Okay, that's a missile now. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Fuck this is hard, I'll pull see. Up, pull up. I can't get any lower. Pull up. Pull up, 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 pull up. Pull all I can see is your dust. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> Eat my dust. Nutty British pilots. Oh, you're about to merge. Pull up, pull up, pull right, get low, because he's trying to gun you. As low as I can get. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why would anyone do this? Why would anyone do this in a real plane? Pull up, pull up. It's working. The missiles can't hit us. We are actually invincible. We're invincible. If the missiles could hit us, we would have been hit by now. Just, just keep going, just keep going. They're merging with you again. They can't fly this low, I'll see. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? You don't want to see what I can see, I'll see. Just don't look back. Whatever you do, don't look back. I can't. I'll crash. I can crash anyway. Yes! Mid overkill! They've just crashed! Did they? Both of them? Ah! This is amazing! And we've dodged all uh, 16 missiles. Who would have thought I'd say? I'm so gonna. Oh, should have been a Vigan actually. I forgot about Vigan. I'm so gonna drive Vigan from now on. You're gonna have to tell me where the waypoint is. Have we gone past the waypoint, I'll say? We're, no, we're, almost, we're almost there. Uh. Pull up, pull up. Well, because I went to. I'll say, get down, get down. He's about to. Sh uh oh. He's about. I bet you they died. Something happened. I'll see. Yeah, they're, they're chasing you with guns. They're chasing you with guns. Well, I'm only one died. Okay, just keep low and they bullet drop. They can't get their bullet drop. No, I think we're close. I can't get my eyes off. I see two four teams back there. Just don't look back. I'll tell you I when you need to dodge. I need W. Plus me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to look back, just that's all you need tonight. You can't get a solution. Look at his little wagon of bogotov brain. Yeah. I can't fire at him. Okay, I'll see, do you want to tell the value viewers why you're so good at low flying? I have gotten much better at low flying with my new monster detector gear. If you're no monster detector, chair amount of gear, he said. That's what he said, don't go up high, I'll see, just trust me, you don't want to go up high. There are things about this you just don't want to know about. I'm pretty sure we've passed the target. It doesn't matter, I'll see. It's all about principle now. Don't worry about right. the target. You'd have a navigator in real life, so... Would I? Oh, yes, yeah. you would. That's so cool. You've got to admit, value viewers, that is just amazingly cool. Okay, I'll see. You've won. Uh, you've beaten them. Why don't we try me in a Tomcat? I clearly can't fly as low as you because I don't have a Marcus... Uh, Monster Tech chair, chair mounted kit. Um, so how about? Oh, they can't get you. Just you'll see the video back later, and you'll see. Oh, holy, the tables have turned. RC is going to do exactly the same, and I'm starting on your tail right away. RC, just to expedite things. So get down and low, and I'm going to see if I can shoot him down as a human. Are you ready, RC? Right, Sparrow selected. Palling. Are you going to be my pal, RC? I've got you. Right, get ready for sparrowing. I'm going to come in at a more realistic angle because I probably wouldn't come in from the 6 o'clock if I was a... Uh, Good flying, we're on a 6. 3, 2, 1, Fox 1. Good Missile away. Yours. We're on a 6. Got to go lower, I'll see. I can see your shadow. Yep. Oh, it worked! The missile missed. Okay. Right, I'm going to try again. Yeah. I physically cannot kill you. Okay, try and again. I'm just going to pump all my missiles at you. I'm going to even aim up in the air to try and lock the little blighters up. Okay, all the missiles out and lofted. Oh, they're coming down on you this time. He's a dead man. He's a dead man. But I had to loft. Oh, one's dodged. That one's got you, surely. That one's got you, RC. It's all oh, right off oh. your... Right off your... <laughs> right off your bow. Get lower, RC. Get lower! I am as low as I can get. I saw one. He has to be fully modelled. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it. Me. You are unkillable. Right, come in for guns. There he is on a 12. Oh. Closing. 
One would think you are smarter than AI, so you might get me, but that hasn't been proven yet. Okay. Oh no, I can see the problem. I can see the problem here, RC. The gun okay. in this plane is aimed three degrees this up. Line, we're on a six. Oh, Close uh, which actually helps. I oh, know that helps. That helps. But still, oh. I have to do this to attack him. Look, it's impossible. You can't do it. You need to be three again. degrees out of the ground. That's the problem. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to your skyline. How interesting! This is physically impossible. I'd love to see this model in DCS in yes as well. I've got to point my nose into the ground at your level to be able to fire the gun at you. Yeah. Which means I get might be one bullet at you, and the rest just hang on. I might get a shot here. That's a shot. That's a kill. I don't feel dead. Oh, as well, you were going up. You were going up a little bit. The bullets are exploding all around you, but no, couldn't get him. Let's try again. Let's try diving attack. God damn it. Can't get him now. I reckon I can... With enough... Oh, I, I see stuff falling around. I, I reckon it's possible, but a real pilot would never attempt this. It's so dangerous. Oh, jeez. I'm getting proper pipper on shots. Proper pipper. Pepper. Did your pepper you got it, Pepper. You got it, Cotton. Pepper breath. Because you know you normally fly, just keep the pepper on the target. You can't do that because you're smashing into the ground. Right. So what you have to do is drive it over the target, take a few seconds of shots, and then try not to die by filling up. Okay, I'm going to give up, I think. I'm going to try just use the rest of my guns and then I'm giving up. In fact, let me see if I can get point blank. Now, real life, you probably wouldn't be able to do this because of all the dust, but I'm trying to get point blank. So what I've got to do is get right on your tail and get below you, which is going to be hard. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, RC. And... Ah. Well, now I'm dead. Oh! <laughs> right, so you can kill them if you go right at their chuff, but you can never do that. The the bits coming off his plane would be sucked into our engines and we'd be killed as well. So, for all intents and purposes, he appears to be pretty invulnerable, at least to period-accurate weaponry. Anything you want to add to that Super RC? Bye!